let me uh, take off from where I left. Uh, this is the second part of uh, lesson number seven. So, what I was mentioning uh, last time was um, about the statement and uh, why this braces was very essential. Okay, why grouping this. Uh, Putting a braces around C equal to get care was very essential. So let's say if what I also mentioned was let's say if you don't put a uh, braces around this, what would happen? The actual um, the way this would get executed would be this. First, get care not equal to EOF will get executed, and uh, the value that C will get assigned is either zero or one, and that is certainly what uh, we don't want. What we really would want is this. You know. Uh, the value of uh, c should be get care after the execution of this statement okay so we're just going to uh, go a bit further in character manipulation in this program we're going to do very some, something very simple uh, we're going to do to, you know, we're going to count the number of characters we're going to count the number of characters entered by the user that means uh, v okay so what we're going to do is very simple uh, we're just going to get characters and okay? we're going to see whether it is end of file or not that means control d or not and just you know count them what do we do count them we're just going to you know number underscore characters okay just a minute before okay why did i just not use a variable like a b c or you know nc or something why am i using number of characters number underscore characters very simple as i had mentioned uh, in a previous lesson okay whatever variables you use should be extremely meaningful uh, you know if i use nc then i wouldn't know what i am actually printing right what i'm actually uh, using so in a very simple program as this it wouldn't really matter but uh, if I'm going to write bigger and bigger programs it is always better to use variables which are uh, very meaningful okay so just I think character spelling is wrong anyway it doesn't matter okay and let me uh, declare this let me declare it as long because you really don't know how many characters you're going to enter okay and uh, let me print that print of and, uh, number of characters characters and I would say percentage LD see I specified that percentage D is for integers and percentage LD is for long okay and um, I just number underscore characters so this is a simple mistake in this program okay um, I'll execute it and show you but if you could guess it it will be great okay so let me just execute it for you okay GCC let me you know make it proper window okay GCC save the program as character manipulation 1.c okay so there's a parser 8 okay so let's see what is the parser it's a braces so it's, you should be very careful about these errors i think that's gone now so let's save it okay let me say how many character a b c d e f six characters right and uh, control D okay so as you see right you're getting a lot you know, more than what you entered four one nine nine three one nine that's certainly not the number of characters we entered okay uh, I, that's was the problem I told you about what uh, what the problem with uh, our program was so very simple we have not initialized this variable see when you do not initialize a variable that means set it to a value I mean, ideally this should have been zero okay so that's what we're going to put so when you do not initialize a variable uh, what happens is you know when a variable gets uh, declared like this okay and it has allocated some memory and whatever uh, value that was there in that memory before 
uh, is what is taken and then we are just incrementing that value and that's what that's why we are you know we are seeing a random value this one okay so that's it uh, and one more thing let's add a slash in so that the output looks better okay and let's execute it again let's see C D E F okay six characters okay and I do control D number of characters is seven okay very simple I'll tell you the reason uh, I have entered six characters and I have uh, entered a slash n okay that means I have pressed an enter uh, for the output to be taken and slash n is also taken as a character that's why we get number of characters is seven and then I pressed control D to exit the program so the output is uh, perfectly fine okay so that's what we do okay now um, I would uh, you know go and uh, improve this program a little bit more let's add something um, more also into this program uh, we're counting number of characters let's also count the number of lines um, in whatever we enter okay so number of lines uh, counting number of lines is uh, very simple it's uh, number of lines in the text is equivalent to the number of slash n in the text as simple as that so let's just have to uh, you know count the number of lines in that way okay so we're going to count number of lines very simple okay uh, we are going to need more statements inside this while loop okay very very simple okay? so uh, we, we not only need more statements we need to store the character also so we just going to store it in an integer Hmm. and uh, we need number of lines right so number of lines okay let's initialize this let's not do the mistake of what we did and very simple uh, we're going to do this if c equal to equal to slash n okay uh, we're going to do this number of lines plus plus see um, something new I have introduced here is if right so what it does is it's very uh, same logic as while if the condition is true it just executes one and if the condition is false it does not execute any once also so it executes zero times if the condition is false it conduct it executes once if the condition is true so if the character you entered is slash n it says number of it increments the number of lines okay so and just to print the number of lines also def number of lines so as i told you it's very important for the output to be you know formatted very well so just take care that whenever you you know are writing any program the output should be formatted very well and not only that make sure that your program is neatly indented has lines in between parts of a program not too many okay and nice indentation okay and use a good editor by something better than notepad okay so so that writing big programs is easier i'm going to get a better editor than this for very soon okay so so let's execute it let's execute this program and saved it okay a enter b enter c enter and control d see number of lines is three and number of characters is six okay the output is correct okay so with this i'm going to end this part of uh, lesson seven